Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use AI to build your website in 2024. Nowadays, there are so many different AI tools that you can use to build websites. But in this video, we're gonna go over the top three AI platforms that you need to do everything. So whether you're trying to create a blog or a portfolio website, AI is gonna be able to do everything for you and it's gonna make things so much more efficient. But first, before we actually build out our website, I wanna talk about the different types of AI tools that you can actually use. Number one is the text generators. These are gonna be things like ChatGPT, Copy AI and Jasper AI. And so the possibilities are endless with these types of tools and you can do a bunch of different things for your website, such as coming up with a website name, giving you ideas on what to write about and even generating full blown articles for your blog or copy for your website landing page. So let's get started. To show you guys an example, here I am on ChatGPT. And by the way, we're gonna leave a link down below to all the different resources that we're talking about today. So it's free to open an account for ChatGPT3. Just use the link down below. But for this video, I'm actually using ChatGPT4. This one's a more advanced version, but it does cost money. So totally up to you guys if you guys want to invest, but I highly recommend it. So first I can ask it to come up with some ideas on my website name. So let's say I want to make a website about old school cars. I can go ahead and ask it something like this. So I'm creating a blog website about old school cars. Can you give me some name ideas for my website? My name is Joey and I'm also in the military. So let me go ahead and press enter right here. And now what it's gonna do is it's gonna spit out a bunch of different unique names that also have a personal touch to it, right? Because it's taking into account that I do have a military background. So it came up with 10 different options for me. So I can ask it something like this. Can you give me 20 more? Now it's gonna generate 20 different titles. If there are any that I like, I can go ahead and ask it for more that are similar. So I can go ahead and copy this one and I can type it into the chat. And now it's gonna give me more names for my website based on this one that I like. Now from here, once I have a name that I like, I can go ahead and ask it for a tagline or a motto or something that I can add on the landing page. And I basically go through the whole process again where I can ask it for more and narrow it down to a slogan that I really like. And then the next platform that I'm gonna talk about is an image generator AI tool. And this one's gonna be called Midjourney. This is one of the best, if not the best AI tool for art right now. It's super easy to use. It's actually on a Discord channel where you basically send the prompt to the bot. And from there, they're gonna give you four different variations of your photo. With something like this, there's really no limit to what you can create. Anything that you think of, you can just type it into the prompt and it's gonna be able to create an image of that for you. So if you guys wanna get started, we'll leave a link down below. It'll take you to this page right here and you can click on this button right here where it says join the beta to sign up. From there, they're gonna send you an invite to join their Discord channel and now I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. So here I am on the Mid Journey Discord channel. Once you guys join, you just have to accept some of their rules before you can actually use it. But once you guys are in, there's multiple ways that you can actually use the Discord bot. One of the ways is you can go into one of the rooms. So I'll go into the newbies 119, for example. As you guys can see, people are constantly using Midjourney to create a bunch of different images. And so this can get a little bit messy, especially if you're trying to find your photo out of all the different ones that they're creating. So what I actually recommend is going to the right-hand side right here where you see the Midjourney bot, and then just go ahead and send it a private message. Once you guys have sent a message to the Midjourney bot, you guys can chat with it on here and the commands work all the same. The only difference is that you won't be bombarded with all the different images that other people are creating. So to get started, all you have to do is send it a slash button and then go ahead and type in the word imagine. And once you press enter right there, it's going to prop up with this prompt button. And then on the right hand side, this is where you're going to enter in the prompt. So let's say for example, that I want a picture of a 67 Chevelle. So I'll go ahead and type that in. And now you guys can see that it is now generating. And so now that it's done, you guys can see that there's four different versions. There's three of them that are red. And then there's one of them that's navy blue. Now these are great, but what I can do from here is give it an even more detailed description. So let's go ahead and type in slash imagine again. And then now instead of just typing the 67 Chevelle, I'm gonna go ahead and type in the background that I want as well as the color of the car and maybe even the time of day. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in this. So 67 Chevelle, black, New York, skyscrapers in the background and rain. I'll go ahead and type in enter and we'll go ahead and see what that creates. So cool, now that it has generated the final four, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at which one that I want. And down here, there's a couple of options. So you have U1, U2, U3, and U4. And you also have V1, V2, V3, and V4. The U is gonna stand for upscale. So this is gonna allow you to have a bigger picture of whichever one you want. This one's gonna be one, two, three, and then four. And then the V stands for variation. So this is gonna allow you to create a different variation 
creation that's similar to that photo. So let's say I want a photo like this one right here. So I want to upscale it. So I'll go ahead and press on U4. And now once that is done, I can go ahead and upscale it. I can upscale it by four times as well. I can vary it subtly or I can vary it strong or vary it by region. I can also zoom out if I want. And yeah, once I'm happy with the photo, I can just go ahead and click on web right here. And now it's gonna take me to this page where I can either download this one or I can download all the other versions that I saw. So if I want this one, I'll just go ahead and right click this and then click save image. Cool, so here, now that you guys have ChatGPT and MidJourney working for you to generate a bunch of different text and images, now I'm gonna go over the best platform that you can use to build out your website using AI. So here I'm on the homepage, the platform's called Hostinger. If you guys check out the link down below, you guys can get started right now for under $3 per month. You also get three months for free and a 30 day money back guarantee. And if you guys stick around, I'll show you guys how to use our special code for an even greater discount. So right here, I'll go ahead and click on claim deal right here. And then I can choose from the three different plans. So they have premium, business, and cloud startup. With the premium plan, I'd say that this is the best option for most people. This one's gonna allow you to have access to a hundred different websites. Yes, you heard me right. You can create a hundred different websites on just one plan. You also get access to a hundred gigabytes of SSD storage, weekly backups, unlimited free SSL, unlimited bandwidth, a free email, and a free domain name. And later on, I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually use Hostinger to create your logo for your website. So make sure to stick around for that as well. But yeah, the premium plan is perfect for most people out there. If you guys want increased performance or you guys want more features, then check out the business and cloud startup plans. But for this example, I'll go ahead and choose the premium one. So I'll add this one to cart. And now it's gonna ask me to choose a time period. So they have the one month plan, 12 months, 24 months, and the 48 month plan. The only one I don't recommend that you get is the one month plan because it's a lot more expensive than all the other ones. But yeah, for this example, I'm gonna go with the 12 month plan. So one year down here, I can go ahead and create my account, entering my email address and my password. And if I scroll down here to where I can enter in my information, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button right here where it asks you if you have a coupon code, go ahead and type in the code my first website. And once you guys click on apply, it's gonna give you an even greater discount. So boom, as you guys can see, you're getting one year's worth of web hosting with all the different features that you guys saw for just $34.45. This is super affordable for most beginners. So yeah, I highly recommend that you guys check them out. Again, we'll leave a link down below where you guys can check them out and use our code my first website. But from there, all you have to do is just enter in the rest of your information and then click on submit secure payment. From there, once you guys have logged in, you guys are gonna get taken to a page like this. And right here where it says hosting, you're probably gonna see your web hosting plan. And then here on the right hand side, you're probably gonna see a button that says start. So just click on that and it's gonna take you through the guided setup. Once you guys are there, just go ahead and click on start now. And now they're gonna give you the option to either create or migrate your website. So I'll go ahead and create a new one. And that's gonna ask you if you wanna use WordPress or Hostinger's builder with AI. For this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the AI builder. This one's super fast and it's great for beginners. But if you guys are interested in creating a WordPress website, it's a lot more customizable and we have other videos on this channel that will teach you how to do that. From there, I can go ahead and claim my free domain name or I can choose one if I already have it. So I'll go ahead and claim a free domain. And right here is where I can enter the domain name that I liked on ChatGPT. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for classicsincamo.com. We can see that the domain domain name is available. So I'll go ahead and click on continue. And now it's just gonna ask you for your contact details and you can click on finish registration. Then it's gonna take you to the AI website builder where you guys can create a website in minutes. So I'll go ahead and click on start creating right here. Then they're gonna ask you a little bit about your website. So I'll go ahead and type in the brand name and the website type as well as a small description. You guys can choose from online store to blog to business showcase, portfolio, landing page or other. This example is obviously gonna be a blog website. And after the description, I could just describe my brand in a few sentences. And and for this, if you guys are having trouble, you can also just use ChatGPT to generate something really quickly. This is gonna allow the AI to know exactly what your website's gonna be about. That way they can generate a bunch of images and text that's related to your subject. So once I'm done, I'll go ahead and click on create website right here. And now we're gonna wait for it to load. As you guys can see, it's loading pretty fast. And boom, now it's pretty much done. That really only took like 20 seconds at most. And so here I am on the website editor. You guys can see that this is what the hero page looks like. From here, it's super easy to edit anything I want. If I wanna move this text, I can go ahead and move it like so. I can also edit the text right here. If I want, I can also move the image like so. I can resize it like this. If I want, I can edit the image right here. And then I can just click on this to replace the image. From here, I just have to upload the file. So the image of the car that I generated on Midjourney can be used for this one. So now I can select that and then go ahead and replace it. Boom, so now I have my photo in there. I can go ahead and add my tagline in here. And right here, there's a button that I can just move around to wherever I want. I can even just delete it like this. And right here for the header, this is where I can add in my logo. So for that, what I could do is I can go to the left-hand side right here. And if I go down here to the sparkles, I can see that it has the 
AI logo maker right here. If I click on that, it's gonna take me to this website right here where I can create a logo. So I can either choose to auto create or create myself. Let's go ahead and choose auto for now to save time. So I'll click on that and then I'll choose the icon style that I want. And then now right here, I'll go ahead and click on generate. And cool, once that's done, it's gonna give me some options to choose from. So let's say I like this one, I'll go ahead and click on this. And I can go in here and change some of the settings with the text and the layout. But if I'm cool with it, I'll go ahead and click on download. And I can go back to the website where I can go click on the header. I can click on edit header right here. Then I can go to logo. I can replace this one with the logo that I just got. And cool, so now it's there in that spot. If I wanna change the position, I can go back to the settings and change that. And going back over here to the left-hand side, you guys can add any elements you want using this dropdown. You also have the ability to add pages and navigation. So if I wanna add a page, I'll click on this button right here. They have a bunch of different options. I can, for example, create a contact page. They have some different templates that I can choose from. So let's say I want this one, I'll select that. I can also change some of the website styles. So the color, the text, the buttons, and the animations. Below that is the blog. So this is where I can manage all of my blog posts. You guys can see that they've already created two different ones for me. This is based on the description that I gave it earlier. But yeah, I'll go in and change that myself. Then they have the option to create an online store if you guys want. And then as far as the AI tools, they also have the AI writer, AI blog generator, and the AI heat map. But yeah, as you guys can see, it's super self-explanatory. It's literally just click and drag. You can edit anything you want very easily. And it's very beginner friendly. Now from here, once I'm happy with the website, I can go over to this right here where I can change the mobile settings. So just to make sure that all the formatting is how I like it. Let's say I want to change this one to be in the middle like that. I can also drag this one downwards. And yeah, once I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and save and then go live right here. So boom, now the website is live. So I can go ahead and click on view site right here. And now it's gonna take me to my website. You guys can see that it's animated. And yeah, overall it looks pretty clean, especially as a total beginner. I didn't have to do any of this myself. It was all just click and drag. And from here, it's just about adding in more blog posts. So I can go back to ChatGPT and then ask it to write me a few blog posts about certain topics. But yeah, that's pretty much it for how to use AI to build out your website. Again, we'll leave the links down below to all the different platforms that we talked about today. And also feel free to reference back to this video because I know there were a lot of steps and a lot of things that we went over. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of content on website design and website building. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.